Question 2. The cost of a circular table is directly proportional to the square of the radius. A circular table with radius 40 centimeters costs 50 pounds. What is the cost of a circular table with a radius of 60 centimeters? So I'm going to set this up. So the cost, and let's call that C, is directly proportional to the square of the radius. I'm going to call that R. So my cost equals my constant proportionality. It's directly proportional. So I've got the constant proportionality, and it's proportional to the square of the radius, to the radius squared. That's all I need to do. Now I just substitute in repeatedly and work it out until I've got my answer. So, uh, radius 40 cost 50. So that's my C bit and that's my R bit, isn't it? So I've got 50 equals K, don't know what that is yet, times by my radius squared. My radius is 40. Now this one is calculator allowed. Um, you should be able to do 40 squared, but use calculator allowed so you're able to use a calculator. So I've got 40 squared equals 1,600. So I've got 50 equals K times 1,600. So if I divide both sides by 1,600, that gives me K equals 50 over 1,600. So K is equal to 50 divided by 1,600. 1 30 second, or 0 0.31, 0 0.03125. So 0 0.03125. If you're going to include that as a decimal rather than as a fraction, and even if you include it as a fraction, but definitely if you include it as a decimal, you must write it all at this stage. Do not round early. That's a key mistake. I know what K is. So um, that is also 1 out of 32, which is just nicer to write that way. So I'm going to also say that's equal to 1 out of 32. Because I now need to create my... Found out what K is, I'm going to put the K value back into here. Okay, so C equals 1 32nd R squared. Okay, now I'm going to substitute in the values that I know. It is 40. Oh, sorry, now I've got my new radius here. New radius that I'm going to substitute in. So cost equals 1 32nd of 60 squared. You could set that all into your calculator just to, just as a little thing about how to do that. That's my um, fraction button. I could just write it just like that. 1 32nd times by 60 squared equals 225 over 2 or 112.5. Just going to check that by doing that independently. So if I take 60 squared and then if I divide that by 32, I should get the same answer, which I do, 112.5. So C equals 112.5. Does that sound relatively reasonable? Yes, it does. 40 centimeter radius was 50 pounds. So 60 centimeter radius, 112 pounds, 50 pounds. Sounds reasonable. 112 pounds, 50. Remember, if it's money, I want to include all pence.